Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because today I'm going to be showing you on how to do a TZ Light dimensional balayage. Now this is my client. She's got about three to four inches of new growth and from her mid shaft to ends, it is previously lightened hair. I am super excited for today. Now the products I'm gonna be using is Schwarzkopf Blondie with a 20 volume developer. I'm also going to be using my favorite Olaplex. I'm gonna add that in the bleach. Um, I'm a huge believer in Olaplex. I love all of their products. Now I think this is something that I kind of want to throw out there. I do charge an extra $25 for Olaplex if the client wants to use it with the service. I'm a huge believer in it and I love doing um, Olaplex with all my clients. It smells good. It's a wonderful product so I highly recommend it. Okay, so I sectioned off my client in five quadrants. So um, two in the front, down the back of behind the ear, and also to that triangle up on top, and two in the back. Now I'm starting off in the back because my client, um, she's a nurse, she wears her hair up a lot, and she does like to see a lot of like those chunky highlighted pieces, especially when she pulls her hair up. So this is going to give her that effect, and hopefully it doesn't grow out so bad on her like a normal regular balayage would, so that's why I'm taking it all the way to the scalp, as you guys could see. Now with her, because she still likes a lot of dimension, mention um, I will go in and I will do three foils here and as you guys could see I'm taking another big section and leaving some dimension in between this foil that way whenever she curls her hair she st she still sees some dark but yet has that lightness of a good blend now I feel like I have to mention this because I know somebody will probably say why are you overlapping the bleach um, Trust me guys, I've looked at my client's hair. I've been doing her hair for years now. She has good hair. It's in good shape and good quality. And I know that I could actually overlap the bleach without having to damage her hair. Um, we always give my client a dry cut beforehand to take away anything that's dry or damaged and then go back in to see if anything did get um, a little bit um, damaged or dry. And we will recut that too. But with her hair, it is completely fine. She just wants to be brightened up a little bit, especially throughout those ends. So me doing this is going to give her that effect. So the reason why I decided to do TZ lights and not a hand painted balayage is because I do need to lift her to a certain point, especially where she wants to be. I do like doing a lot of hand painted, but I feel like just sometimes I don't get that great of a lift when I do it, um, especially if somebody wants to be bright and blonde and they're already, you know, not naturally like a past a level six or seven with their natural hair color, she's about, a, like I would say, probably level five, six in some spots with her natural. So that's why I am foiling her. Now, the cool thing when you do TZ lights or any type of balayage, um, foilage, the cool thing is you could always design the way that you want to do your weaves in any way if you want to do a thick weave if you want to do very thin slice weaves to make it look a lot more natural you could always do that as well um, just get fun and creative with it always remember that this is a canvas that you're doing so um, you know just get creative always ask your client if they want a lot of dimension still if they don't want a lot of dimension I think it's the best thing whenever you're doing your consultation with your client is to ask those questions because you could take somebody super blonde and then they might not like it because they miss having their dark hair or their dark root so always just ask that also, I do want to say if you guys are new here, welcome to my video. My name is Ashley. I am a professional hairstylist and I do YouTube. And if you guys want, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. I will link it right here and also down in the bio as well. That way you guys could give me a follow. And if you guys are not and haven't already, please make sure to like this video, comment down below and tell me guys what you guys think. I appreciate your guys' feedback. And also too, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for more videos.
darling, I told you I'm not perfect man, but I promise I will never hurt you again. Mm, my darling, I told you I'm not perfect man, but I promise I will never hurt you again. Mm, my darling. My darling, I told you I'm not perfect man, but I promise I will never hurt you again. Mm, my darling, I told you I'm not perfect man, but I promise I will never hurt you again. Okay guys, so now that I am working on top of that crown, I wanna show you on how your saturation should be when you're trying to get a good lift. Always make sure that every single part of the hair is saturated with bleach evenly. And the reason why is because if you don't saturate it right, you're not gonna get the greatest lift um, in some spots. And that's why a lot of times when you go rinse out the bleach, you could have some patchiness and not that very good saturation when it comes to the hair and especially toning it. So always just make sure that that hair is super saturated with the bleach. Okay, and now we're working with her money piece. My client does like around her face to be a little bit more brighter. So I'm taking her um, kind of bang area. She's got long bangs. And all I'm doing is doing baby lights back to back. So I'm doing three baby lights back to back and then I will do a weave to leave a little bit of dimension out, a total of five foils in this little area. I like doing this because one, you get a good saturation whenever you're going super small um, in this area to get a very nice money piece that is super bright, but also two, you're still leaving a little bit of dimension out, that way it doesn't look so thick of a money piece.
All right guys, so I'm done foiling her up and I did go in and balayage just some pieces that I left out to brighten them just a little bit. Now I wanna share with you guys right here, those first three out of four foils, I went and I took out because I think they lifted perfect and that's on how you should look, especially when you get the full processing time. And I know this toner is gonna to come out really good on her. Now this is the way that she lifted after I rinsed out all the bleach. And for toner, well, we're gonna do a root mount first. And for the root mount, I'm gonna be using shades EQ 6N um, with processing solution equal parts and a toner mid shaft to ends, uh, shades EQ 10N 9V and a 10GI. Now this is the final outcome. I love the way this looks because she's still dimensional up on top, but she's got that beautiful bright blonde throughout the mid shaft to ends and in the front of her face, it really brightens her up. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment on it, and also subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it, and let me know what you guys want to see next time. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.